it's new product time. Okay. Do, 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 do. New products. Okay. Let's get through the ones that are uh, just photos really fast. Okay. Um, little pink pie. Pie shortener. Yeah, this pie is just like card. the uh, little shortener we have for the pie that we had in blue, but now we've been pinkling it in some other colors. It's handy because like I have like my um, like XBMC distro in a pink one, and I yeah. have my Raspbian in a blue one, and I have my Pi TFT special edition in yeah. like a black one, whatever. Yep. So we have another color, more colors. Okay, next up. Great for Raspberry Pis. So these we just put in today. These are Gerber, Gerbil Shields, G Shields. Yeah. And what is all? What is this wait, about? Wait, I can't remember the name of this one. This is the Teeny G. G Teeny G. So yeah. Teeny G and the G Shield are both from Synthetos Labs, and these are really, really hardcore, uh, three and four axis CNC controllers. Um, they're fully assembled. Um, they're from Synthetos, Synthetos uh, Riley, who makes really awesome CNC controllers. These are like. Eighth revision boards. These are like really hardcore, cool controllers. If you want to make like a CNC robot or like a mill or like a 3D printer or whatever, chances are you can grab one of these and they're like supported with many um, open source software. They have great motor drivers that can go up to like 25 volts, I think. I think they do about three amps each. Yeah. Um, just they're like hardcore drivers. This one it has a uh, I think it's an at mega 169 or at X mega 160, 192. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to add some more CNC stuff for people who love CNC, and we got suggest we had recommendations to carry this one. Yeah, they're you're, little, you're picky, so these must be good. They're, they're pretty, yeah. I, Synthetus is really good. He he's been doing a lot of stuff, and there's um, G code interpreters ready to go for it. It's just for a little bit more advanced users, but if you need a G code interpreter, 3D yeah. access device. So these are two different ones that we have. Yeah, there's the shield, and it plugs into like an Uno, and it's only three axis, and then there's the, the Teeny G, which is what we just showed, which is a four axis, yeah. um, and has a microcontroller on it, and you can just pipe data in through USB. This is cool. Intense. They're beefy, and they have these big They're cups on there. They're super beefy. Yeah. Super beefy. Okay. And it looks like it could take 30 volts in. Like, this is yeah, it's these are monsters. It's like 25 or 30 volts, yeah, and then like three amps per, per channel. Yeah, okay. Bipolar separate bonus. All right. Intense. Okay, speaking of hardcore, we've got, well, it's not hardcore, it's a stand. <laughs> it's a stand, it's a stand. It's, these are stands that are originally meant for like iPads and other tablets, yeah. but we have a lot of screens in the store and it folds up nicely so you can stash it away and you can adjust the angle and it's great for holding up stuff like, you know, like retina display or like our t pixel key display or whatever. So it's not sitting flat on your monitor. If you don't stand for something, Lady Ada, you'll fall for anything. Yeah. And this is a stand. This is a stand that'll help. This will help stand. you stand. Okay, next up, um, we talked about this today on Wearable Electronics with Becky Stern. This is our parts pack for the felted owl. And what's cool about this is, if you just wanted to do a felted owl, fine, we got you covered. We got a felted owl kit. But let's well, say, let's say if you wanted to add electronics to it, because you're like us and you like to add electronics to everything. So these are all the parts at a slightly lower price if you were to buy them separately, and you put them inside of an owl, and the owl chirps. So, so I'll just show off what the parts are real fast. Yeah. On the overhead. Go to the overhead. Oh, let me move the speaker out of the way. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is a Gemma, and it's got a little tilt ball switch, and that makes it go off. And then let me grab a little battery so I can demo it more live. And when you load the gem up with the example code, let's see the bootloader. It'll yeah, you're doing it. It'll make I cute thought, little chirpy sounds. I thought I was done listening to the sound, but I'm not. I yet. know the sound <laughs> has been like all over Ada for yeah. a while. And when you're when you're totally finished, you can put it in this cute little felted owl that yeah. you make, and then it tucks into the tail. And then it even comes with a rechargeable battery. And then, yeah, you can have a little chirpy bird. Yeah. And owls do chirp. They don't just hoot. Yeah. I think we had example code for meow and hoot as well, but we got all the chirp is, the chirp is a really nice chirp. Yeah. That's a cute little kit. Okay. Um, make it, make a little, you can also um, use the kit for any stuffed animal you have kicking around. You have like a beanie baby, just shove in the beanie oh, baby, All those beanie babies. Right, okay. Next up. Next up. Why take so long? Well, okay. we've got this is this is a big deal. Okay. Um, no, it's a big deal. Um, I had to gather my thoughts. So okay. this is your new board that you've been working on for a while. Yay! And this is a K Town joint. Yeah. This is the original K Town design. We actually worked on this like two years ago, 
and we couldn't manufacture it because we didn't have um, manufacturing capability to do boards of this complexity. Um, but now we have this lovely stenciler, we have this lovely pick and place. I revisited this board um, a couple months ago and we pulled it together and we now have this 20 watt Class D stereo amplifier. Yeah. So if you notice we have a bunch of Class D amplifiers in store and they're all about like three to four watts. And the little guys, you run them off of like three to five volts and that's lovely and everything. But let's say you want more watts, you want louder. This is very loud. This is 20 watts per channel. It's yeah. a Class D amplifier, so it's very cool. It doesn't need a heat sink. So you see there's no heat sink uh, on it. That little chip in the middle, which is... Yeah, I can, Wait, I can zoom in too. I, can, I always get backwards. The chip over there in the middle is uh, the Max 9744, which is a really nice little Class D amplifier chip. And one of the cool things about this is that it has... Uh, it takes you know up to 14 volts DC, and you can control it with an analog voltage. So you can use a trim pot to set the volume, or you can use I squared C. You can put it in. You have to solder or jumper closed, but it's pretty easy to, to decide whether you want to use analog control with a trim pot or a potentiometer, or digital control with a microcontroller. So yeah. it has it's flexibility between using um, analog or digital. And I have a quick little demo. Yeah. That I can show. Just we'll get to the overhead. Show it. Hooked up. So yeah, this is the amplifier board, and I have it hooked up to these like ginormous speakers, which are just yeah. like huge speakers. Um, and oh, this for the next demo. And then on the other side here, you know, you can connect like your little iPod or yeah. something into this headphone jack. Yeah. And I will. I'm actually looking at an unreleased Adafruit product that's that's power that's doing stuff to it. Ooh ah, I shouldn't say anything. <laughs> so I have it quiet. See if I can power this guy up. Yeah. Hopefully my demo will work. Okay, so it's pretty quiet. I can make it that's, loud. That's totally reasonable. That's totally too loud. Really loud. Whoa, okay. So you can even see it vibrating. Whoa, that's cool. Oh, that's neat. Let's, we should just do the rest of the show that. Okay. Um, I'll turn it down a little bit. But I don't have it as a background music. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, it's a it's a lovely little amplifier. There's uh, we also have a tutorial that shows like the digital interface if you want to use digital. Um, but it's really great. It's, I've always wanted like a class D amp that can drive fairly large speakers. Um, you know, these are pretty good small size 20 watt speakers, but you yeah. can get like pretty big 20 watt speakers. You want off battery, wall power, uh, give it any kind of line level audio. And What's funny is you. I, I always remember you really saying I always, I always wanted to. Uh, uh, a class D amp. A good class D amp, yeah. yeah Cause I, like a lot of the kits that I built, I used to build class D amp kits and they were always like really hard to assemble yeah. or like they weren't that good or like, you know, you get like, you get non-class D and you need a huge heat sink. So this is um, a nice loud stereo amplifier um, yeah. that you can use and it's good for portable stuff. Cause it's like, it's got like 90% efficiency. It's pretty good for a class D. Good work. Okay. I'm going to Ni Nicely done, Lady Ada. Okay. Okay. So next up, um, might I say the next thing is probably this one of the stars of the show tonight. We have sequins. LED right. sequins. LED sequins. This is actually something I built at the Media Lab like 15 years ago, but now uh, just getting around to it. Now I'm finally getting around to it. No, I yeah. built I built something very very similar at the Media Lab. I was doing like wearable costume LED stuff. But now I've got little sequins of my own. Um, yeah. These are little circuit boards for, basically for use with Gemma. That's what I, I designed, designed these for. Uh, and they're just a, a 1206 LED and a little resistor and they come on strips and you snap the strip apart and to take off the little LED, there's a little score so they snap off yeah. very nicely. And I will uh, show off. Yeah, well I have some great photos that I wanna show. Show off the Here's photos. Here's the different colors. Yeah, we have them in. Red. Red. Green. Show off the colors while I get this battery. Blue and uh, white, and oh, uh, they are stunning to look at. And you can put them in probably anything. They are tiny. They're super tiny, and they draw about five milliamps each. So you can put a couple of them on a um, single oh, no. digital pin. Oh, right. there's my battery. We'll go to the overhead. Yeah, give me a second here. So this is my basic demo. I just have it um, with a battery pack. But yeah. you know, this is blue. So that's nice. Yeah, so that's all the blue ones. Yeah, and then just as, I just want to show how you snap them off. So you just you snap. just pull it off, and then you can do your project, pull off as many as you want. They come in packs of five. And yeah. then here is an example of it sewn on. So hold on, so here. 
Um, so here's a Gemma, and then I have this red one on all the time, and then the blue and green and white ones um, pulse on and off. Yeah. So, yeah, there's the, there's the green one blinking yep. and the blue one. So it's like it's very easy to just control with a digital pen. Unlike NeoPixels, they only do one color each, but they're a lot less expensive and they're a lot smaller. Yep. So you just want a couple of white LEDs to flicker or blink. And you or, can do stuff to them. Yeah, you can use yeah. PWM outputs. Um, and the, I think the Gemma has two or three PWM outputs, maybe two of them, and then you can kind of bit bang a third one if you okay. want. So, yeah, blinky little glowy guys, and yeah. it's like four bucks for a pack you, of five. Do you want to do a multi pack at some point where it has all the colors? We will, but I want to do more colors. I only started uh. with green, blue, red, and white. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend that to also have like yellow and amber. It'd be cool to do like and Roy like, Biv on a. Yeah, it's, violet's a little bit too high because um, the voltage is higher than 3.3 volts. I want to make sure these will, could uh. all run on 3.3 uh, volts. So maybe I'll. Turn off this light and see if it show up nicely. Yeah, sure. Okay, Looks good. so there's little sparkly lights, um, but they're actually they're actually pretty bright, brighter than it even seems here. I don't know if you can see it on the. Yeah, sure. Uh, not. Yeah, you can actually see. Yeah, the they're yeah, bright. They're pretty bright. You can see them even in this studio lighting. So um, yeah, get your blinky on. Okay. And we have yeah. And with that. Packs. I think that's it. Yeah, and with that is new products, Lady Ada. Oh, right, efficient time.